everyone? I'm just doing this little video. The video is titled, Is Fiji Water Better Than Tap Water? Now, I get a lot of uh, criticism because Fiji water is a lot more expensive than normal water. Take Pure Life or Dasani. So I got a cup of tap water and I got some Fiji water. They're both chilled. I've already drank a little bit of this and got a little bit of this. And I'm going to try and explain the taste difference, okay? I live in the city. This is normal city water. So it should be an easy one for Fiji. But I'll, tell, I'll try to describe what I'm thinking, what I'm tasting, and everything like that. So here goes the top water. Get the full taste. Um... It's kind of dry. It's not very refreshing. Um, it has a little hint of, like I can taste kind of like a metally taste almost, something like that. Um, maybe a little bit of tiny hint of like a fishy taste. Yeah, it's not that refreshing. I mean, it is refreshing still, but compared to this, let's hold on. I'm gonna do a little taste. Yeah, not nearly as fresh as the Fiji water, not nearly as refreshing. This definitely tastes natural, like it hasn't been tampered with with a bunch of chemicals. So yeah, Fiji hands down wins this. But the problem with Fiji, and the problem that everybody brings up, is that here in Canada, this is $2.75 a liter, when this is free so why would you get Fiji I think Fiji is kinda of like Starbucks it's an affordable luxury to be enjoyed you know once in a while so that's how I take Fiji of course I don't be I'm not drinking Fiji every single day this is maybe like a once in a week kinda of thing once in every like few days just like I wouldn't be you know drinking Starbucks every day and stopping for a five dollar coffee as much as I'd love to, that's just not in the budget right now, as probably for millions of other people. So yes, Fiji is great. Tap water is good. This is a once in a lifetime, no, once time weekly luxury. This is more for everyday use. But again, hands down, Fiji wins. I'll be back with more.